Some individuals have foreseen these events unfolding, including someone by the name of Gary. Let's delve into the recent developments involving Virtue Financial, as reported by the SEC, which alleges the company's failure to safeguard client trade information. Hello everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. According to a report in the Financial Times, the lawsuit contends that the market maker's float system provided proprietary traders with almost unrestricted access to vital data. Now let's take a closer look at the details outlined in the Financial Times article. Market maker Virtue is currently facing legal action from U.S. regulators. They stand accused of issuing deceptive statements and withholding information regarding their measures to prevent the potential misuse of sensitive customer data in their possession. Interestingly, this situation gained significance when we recall the recent remarks made by Gary Gensler. His words, or rather the absence thereof, have injected a certain bullish sentiment into the market. These developments beg the question, what lies ahead for the broader stock market? To gain insight, let's consider the SEC's statement from yesterday. It has come to light that a database containing post-trade information, derived from customer orders processed through Virtue's institutional business, was accessible using two widely known passwords. This accessibility extended to virtually anyone within Virtue Americas, including its proprietary trading division, which conducts trading for its own profit rather than on behalf of clients. This revelation is indeed intriguing. Recall Gary Gensler's stance from yesterday when he was asked about the possibility of investigations into companies. While he couldn't divulge specifics, it's clear that something was in the works. Hours after the hearing, this news broke in the market. It appears that Gary and his team have gathered sufficient evidence or data points to substantiate their case against Virtue Financial, as indicated by the lawsuit that filed. This turn of events holds particular interest. Reflecting on the previous hearing, Gary Gensler was pressed on why the SEC has faced challenges in legal battles against hedge funds, market makers, and other players in the financial and crypto industries. His response shed light on the SEC's approach. They meticulously collect evidence and subject it to rigorous scrutiny by their team before deciding whether to proceed. Their aim is to pursue legal action only when they are confident if not certain, of victory. Every loss not only tarnishes the SEC's reputation, but also incurs substantial costs. Now we invite you to share your thoughts on this matter. Virtue Financial, one of the major market players, is embroiled in this lawsuit. Do you believe the SEC will emerge victorious? The outcome could potentially reshape the financial landscape. It's worth noting that it's been some time since the SEC secured a victory against a player of this magnitude. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.